So I've bought and sold watches really for fun, but kind of as a side hustle for the last couple years. It's not a lot of work, just a few hours a week. I've bought and sold over 250 watches. And in this video, I wanna talk about the three best things that's come from it. You know I'm gonna talk about the money, but I'm not gonna start with that. It's a given. The first thing I wanna talk about is the opportunity to try on hundreds of watches. I mean, the only watches that I don't wear are the brand new watches and the watches that I don't own, meaning the ones that I can sign. So I'd estimate that 80 to 90% of these 250 I've actually worn, and it's been amazing. Here's what I found from having this opportunity, that there's three types of watches. The first type, watches that look really cool on a computer screen, but when you hold it in your hand, it doesn't really do anything for you. The second type of watch, watches that look really cool on the computer screen, you hold it in your hand, it's pretty cool, you wear it for a few weeks, and it kind of wears off on you. At that point for me, I'm glad I don't really own it. And then finally, the third type of watch. For me, this is really rare. Looks cool on the computer screen. You get it in your hand, it's super exciting. And this is the watch that you actually love more with time. Aesthetically, it's perfect. Functionally, it's amazing. For me, there's only a couple watches in this category that I will never sell, or at least I'll buy back at some point and keep in my personal collection. So the second thing I wanna talk about, and I think this is the best part about watch trading, is the people that you meet. I meet some of the most amazing people in selling watches. Think about it. These are people with 10 grand or 20 grand liquid that they can spend on a watch. A lot of times these people are business owners or just people that are extremely successful in their career and I always take the opportunity to pick their brain. I'll share a couple quick stories with you. The first watch I ever sold, it was a Starbucks. Typically when I sell a watch, we meet at the jeweler, the jeweler inspects the watch, and I'm just sitting there with the buyer and we're shooting the breeze. I asked the guy what he did for a living, and he says he's a business owner and he does pallets. Yeah, the, the pallets underneath a heavy shipment that you pick up with the forklift. And I was like, okay, yeah, cool, whatever. Six months later, he calls me. He's like, hey, Lewis, do you want to buy this Pepsi from me? Yeah, sure. Meet me at my warehouse. So I go to his warehouse, and it's about a 40,000 square foot warehouse, and he's got pallets everywhere from the floor up to about a 30 foot ceiling. His yard's got nothing but trailers with his name on it. And so I'm like, oh, you do pallets. One of the coolest guys I've ever met and we're still friends today. Another quick story, also met a guy selling a watch. I won't tell you what industry he's in, but he, at the time, he had been in business for about five years. His business is huge now. I think it's around the $5 million mark. So my question to him was, how did you grow it so quickly? I asked him some specific numbers, how much he did in year one. He said under 100K, year two under 200K, and year three, over a million dollars. I said, how the hell do you grow that quickly in 12 months? And he said, government contracts. He also used a really creative strategy to finance that growth. So I've got so many stories from business owners and their road to success. For me, it's been super inspirational. It gives me a peek into the mindset of multi-million dollar business owner personalities. I thought about doing a separate podcast just to share this type of inspiration but I think that space is pretty crowded. So on to the third best thing about trading watches. Of course, it's the money. It is what it is. It's hard to rank which one is the best between the money, the connections, and trying on a bunch of watches. The money's great. I've got a friend that started trading watches at about the same time I did, and he said that this was a life hack. Like, bro, I just traded this watch in 30 minutes and I made 500 bucks. Like, I wish I knew this when I was 16 when I was making four bucks an hour at McDonald's. So anyways, just wanted to make a quick video about this. I don't think most people realize the circles of people that have this type of disposable income and what their mindset is like. Super fascinating for me. If you're interested in doing this also, I've got a watch trading mentorship that I can show you exactly how I started. I'll show you everything I learned so that you don't have to find things out the hard way. We can start with Omegas as little as $5,000. We don't have to start with Rolexes. Omegas tend to trade pretty quickly also, and so we can get you ramped up pretty quickly. I was just talking to a guy that I started working with a little while ago, and he's about to hit the 5K profit mark. Super exciting for both of us. If you're interested, the only thing I ask is that you've got an interest in watches, which obviously you have. Leave me a comment down below or reach out to me on my Instagram. I'm only taking a few new students at a time because this is truly a mentorship. I wanna kind of hold your hand as you gain your knowledge and your confidence so that this is something that you can scale pretty quickly if you want to. Anyways, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below too, if you don't mind. Just let me know what you thought. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.